In this video we'll be looking at how alkali metals react with chlorine. Chlorine is in group 7, it's a halogen. So here's the general equation for the reaction. You have your alkali metal reacting with chlorine, so plus chlorine, and it uh, forms a metal chloride. This metal chloride is actually a white crystalline salt and it looks like this. Now obviously this equation will look different for each of the different metals. So for example for lithium, in the place of metal we put lithium plus chlorine, they react to form lithium chloride. If it was potassium, it would be potassium plus chlorine react to form potassium chloride and so on. But they all form a chloride salt um, and they all look like this, say a white crystalline solid at room temperature. The reactions between alkali metals and chlorine, they're um, very vigorous reactions. As you go down the group, the reactions become more and more vigorous because obviously reactivity increases down the group. And we said the white crystalline salts, uh, they also formed uh, the metal chloride salts. Um, when they dissolve in water, they form a colourless solution and that solution has a neutral pH. So it's not acidic, it's not alkaline, it's neutral. Now based on the specification for AQA, you need to be able to describe the reactions of the first three alkali metals uh, with chlorine. So here's a little bit of a description of how they react. So we're going to go through the word and symbol equations for these three alkali metals uh, reacting with chlorine. Let's start with the first one, lithium. So this is your word equation, lithium plus chlorine react together to form lithium chloride. Now the symbol equation, this is the unbalanced symbol equation, we need to, we need to balance this. Uh, but for lithium we have Li chlorine Cl2 and lithium chloride LiCl. But you can see here we only have one chlorine atom there and we have two chlorine atoms bonded in a single molecule here. So the chlorines are not balanced, chlorine atoms are not balanced. Uh, what we can do is put a big two in front of this. Remember when balancing we can only put numbers in front of the formula not after. So now chlorine is balanced, we have two chlorine atoms here and two there. Um, however, now we have this two also applies to everything that comes after it, so it also applies to lithium as well. So we've got two lithiums now on this side but only only one there, so we put a two there. So now this is our balanced symbol equation for the reaction between lithium and chlorine. Uh, we also need to include state symbols, so what are they solid, liquid or gases? Lithium, remember it's a metal so it's a solid. Uh, chlorine is a gas, so we put a G there. And lithium chloride is a salt, so it's solid at room temperature, so we put a S, um, an S in brackets there. Let's have a go at the equation for sodium reacting with chlorine. So sodium plus chlorine react formed the product sodium chloride, the salt. And this is your symbol equation. Again, it's not balanced. These are just the symbols for each of these chemicals. Uh, we put a two, just like with the previous one, two in front of there, two here. And this makes it balanced now. And we also include the state symbols. So it's um, the same as the previous one. Your alkali metal is always a solid. Chlorine is um, a gas at room temperature. And we have sodium chloride. Uh, your salt is always a solid, so S in brackets. And just as a side note, sodium chloride is actually the salt that we put on our food. So I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at writing the word equation and the symbol equation for potassium reacting with chlorine. And once you've done that, write down whether how vigorous it is, the reaction compared to sodium. Okay, so this is what you should have. Potassium plus chlorine, arrow potassium chloride, your symbol equation should be like this with the state symbols, it's balanced and obviously potassium is lower down so it's more reactive, it's more vigorous compared to sodium and lithium. Okay so that's the end of this video, thanks for watching.